Joseph Fillimore, Joseph Fillimore, 1775-1855, was an English civil lawyer and politician, Rigius Professor of Civil Law, at Oxford from 1809. Life The eldest son of Joseph Fillimore, vicar of Orton on the Hill, Leicestershire, by Mary, daughter of John Matchin of Kensington. He was educated at Westminster School and Christ Church, Oxford, where he matriculated on 30 May 1793, graduated B.A. in 1797, admitted a member of the College of Advocates. On 21 November 1804, he practiced with success in the ecclesiastical and admiralty courts, and in 1806-7 was commissioner for the disposal of Prussian and Danish ships seized by way of reprisals for the violation of the neutrality of Hanover by the Prussian government, and the submission of Denmark to... In 1809, he succeeded French Lawrence as Rigius Professor of Civil Law at Oxford, Chancellor of the Diocese of Oxford, and Judge of the Court of Admiralty of the Cinque Ports. On 17 March 1817, he was returned to Parliament in the Grenville interest for the borough of St. Maw's, Cornwall. Vacant by the death of his friend Francis Horner, he continued to represent it, until the dissolution of 2 June 1826. He was then 9 June returned for Yarmouth. Fillimore was one of the original members of a short-lived third party formed in 1818. During his brief parliamentary career he distinguished himself by his advocacy of Catholic emancipation and his expositions of international law. He was placed on the Board of Control for India upon its reconstitution on 8 February 1822, and held office until the fall of Lord Goodrich's administration in January 1828. On 23 January 1833, he was named Principal Commissioner for the final adjudication of the French claims under the Treaties of 1815 and 1818. He also presided over the Registration Commission appointed on 13 September 1836, and drafted the report. Fillimore was appointed King's Advocate in the Court of Admiralty on 25 October 1834 and Chancellor of the Diocese of Worcester, Commissary of the Deanery of St. Paul's Cathedral in the same year, Chancellor of the Diocese of Bristol in 1842, and Judge of the Consistory Court of Gloucester in 1846. He received the honorary degree of L.D from the University of Cambridge in 1834, was elected Fellow of the Royal Society on 13 February 1840, and a trustee of the Busby Charity on 23 May the same year. He retained the Chair of Civil Law at Oxford until his death, which took place at his residence, Shiplake House, near Reading, on 24 January 1855. Works Fillimore gained in 1798 the University English Essay Prize by a dissertation on chivalry, printed in the Oxford English Prize Essays, Oxford, 1836, Vol. Roman II. As a young man, he had a passing connection with the Edinburgh Review. Fillimore edited reports of cases argued and determined in the ecclesiastical courts at Doctors' Commons and in the High Court of Delegates, 1809-21, London, 1818-27, three vols, eight vo, and reports of cases argued and determined in the arches and prerogative courts of Canterbury, containing the judgments of Sir George Lee, London, 1832-3, three vols. His speech is delivered in the Sheldon Theatre, at the commemoration holden on the 10th, 11th, and 13th June, 1834, at which the Duke of Wellington presided in person were printed at Oxford the same year. Family Fillimore married on 19 March 1807, Elizabeth D. 1859, daughter of the Reverend Walter Baggett, rector of Blithfield, Staffordshire, younger brother of William Baggett, first Baron Baggett, by whom he had, with other issue, John George Fillimore, Greville Fillimore, Augustus Fillimore, Robert Joseph Fillimore, Richard Fillimore, then a student at Christ Church, drowned in June 1843 while swimming in the River Thames at Sandford Lock, a notoriously dangerous spot. His friend William Gaysford, 
the son of Thomas Gaysford, got into difficulties while swimming, and Fillimore entered the water to save him, but both young men perished. They are buried in Christ Church Cathedral. They are commemorated by an obelisk at Sanford Lock and two memorial tablets in the north walk of the cathedral cloisters.